In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a new defense that I discovered yesterday about how you can go about defending the gun bunch in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to click the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date on the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. We upload videos every day that can help you become a better uh, offensive or defensive player in Madden 21. And in today's video, we're specifically talking about our nickel 335 wide defensive guide now if you have not already got my nickel 335 defense it is my complete guide on how to play defense in Madden 21 i highly recommend it it is a very simple and easy to follow guide that can walk you through step by step how to get more stops and play better defense in Madden 21 so if you want to get that i'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video but in today's video we're specifically going to be talking about a new defense that i like to use specifically against gun bunch from the nickel 335 wide and uh, that defense is going to be the cover four show too but we're going to run it a little bit uniquely and i think you're going to get a lot out of this video so let's dive right in again if you want my entire defensive guide that shows you not only how to stop gun bunch but how to stop every single offense in madden 21 including trips tied in and bunch and bunch tied in and spread and all of that stuff it's available in the description of this video you can get that for just 15 dollars again i'm going to leave a link down below but we're talking specifically today about the cover four show two and so what we're going to do when we defend gun bunch is we're going to go down to that cover four show two we're going to press our coverage and then what we're going to do is we're just going to spread our defensive line crash our defensive line up and then i like to kind of stay in like right here with my user just like this right here now this is where it's going to become you're going to find out this is going to become a lot of fun so basically what we're going to do is we're going to put our corners on the outside in soft squats as you can see right there we put them in soft squats we've not changed our zone drops or anything those are all still on default and then we're just simply going to man up the circle receiver just like that right there and that's pretty much what we're going to do and we're going to let it roll um, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to put a three red hook on the field you could put that on the left or the right side i personally think it works best to the right side and so what you're going to see is a very popular play that a lot of people like to run is this play right here z spot one of the ways that they'll do that is they'll do something basically like this right here this is kind of the adjustments and so if you watch how this play unfolds you're going to see that we're going to have pretty doggone good success at stopping the z spot you'll see right here that the r1 receiver is going to get matched stride for stride and there's really not a chance in the world that they are going to be able to throw that ball and so as you can see right there we're able to play very very good defense the the beauty is it doesn't just stop there another popular concept from gun bunch again we're going to set this up exactly the same all we're doing is we're putting both of our corners on soft squats we're putting our right of screen defensive in on a bluff blitz and then we're manning up our blitzing linebacker on the outside receiver and so the next uh, play that we're going to talk about is the play mesh, uh, another popular play from the gun bunch. And again, it's very similar, running at something to this effect right here. And if you watch this circle receiver, you're going to see the match coverage is going to play him really well. But also, because we've manned that receiver up in advance, he is now taken away pretty much completely. There's no window for them to be able to throw the ball to that receiver. So another play that I want to talk about, another popular gun bunch uh, play. And again, this is all we're doing. Now, our primary user responsibility is going to be on this left side right here but i want to specifically talk about the play flood this is a very popular little concept what we're going to do is put the running back on an option route and i just want you to watch kind of how this plays you're going to see here that the out route to the r1 receiver which is oftentimes the hardest thing to stop right there we pretty much intercepted it obviously he was able to catch it but we're right in the vicinity to be able to stop that let me show you that one more time and what again what you're probably going to notice if you watch this closely is that there's really no window to throw anything on this play flood it's actually probably one of the better ways to defend this play um, and again what you're going to see here is if i try to hit this r1 receiver that's going to happen nine times out of ten you're going to be picking it off and you're going to be running it back for touchdowns because most people don't expect that soft squat to be able to do that but it does it very very well so we've taken away a lot of the corner routes and a lot of the popular things. Another thing, another example of this is the smash return play, a very popular play from the gun bunch. And so we're going to set that up, set the defense up exactly the same. And I just want you to watch how this defends the uh, tight end receiver here. So if you take a look, the match coverage sits right on him and there's really no window for them to be able to throw that. That's one of the most unstoppable routes, very difficult to stop that route in the game. And as you see, we're able to take it away with relative ease. 
And then the next play that I want to share with you in this video, as far as like the next route combination that I want you to watch, I want you to watch the play flood, but I want you to watch it to the left side. And if you watch this little running back route, we've got a soft squat sitting right there on that option route. And as you can see, we're going to be able to pick that off if they want to try to throw that. So we've taken away the option route, we've taken away the out route, we've taken away the fade route, we've taken away the vertical wheel route, we've taken away the mesh corner route, the smash return corner route, and the Z-spot corner route, all in one defense. And so what we've basically done is we've really forced the offense to have a very specific play that they want to go to. And for me, if I was on the offensive side of the ball, the primary play that I would be looking to run against a defense like this would be something like this play here, Jets Dig, because I've got the slot on a little wiggly fade. And if you watch how this works, the slot here is on the wiggly fade, but the problem is, as you see, the match coverage basically takes that away flawlessly. The reason why it does that is because whenever you have a match coverage and you man somebody up intentionally, like in this example where we've manned up that circle receiver, you don't get this little like false step type of dichotomy that you get a lot when people are running their, their match beaters. And so this is probably the one play that should be able to beat it. And if you watch closely, you see that there's no false step and I'm able to completely take this away with this uh, corner. This is one of the true beautiful things of this coverage. Now, uh, really quickly here, I just want to run through um, another little thing that they can do. Uh, what if you might be asking, well, what if they put, you know, something like an out route and an in route, something like this right here, right? What if they did something like that? Because now they've got vertical stems and how does that change and how does that shift it? Well, the beauty of the soft squats is the soft squats are a matching type of zone. And so that what they're basically doing is they're going to match on if there's no vertical, if there's a lack of vertical threat, as you can see here, we're able to get that up. And again, you're going to see that that's going to be an easy swat click on might even be an interception. But as you can see, we're able to hold our own against that situation. Now, the last type of defense that I want to go over um, or the last type of situation that I really want to hit on in this video is I want to talk about a specific type of situation that can arise where they basically send, they start to send their um, receiver on the left side deep because you're playing cover two. So we're going to send them deep. Well, the beauty of this is that you're on the short side of the field. And because you're on the short side of the field, what you're going to see here is that Yes, they can get that right there off. And that is something that you have to watch because that is a little bit of a problem. What you can do if you want is you can you can play traditional cover two because again, we don't have to take the tight end vertical because we've got this guy right here. So if we wanted to, we could take this guy and say, you know what, you're gonna be, you know, you're 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 not gonna go in that direction. The biggest issue is if they were to do something like this, where they had a wheel route. They had a fade route and then they had, you know, something like this. This right here could cause us some problems. And if you watch again, you're going to see that that soft squat will bail. And by the time that quarter figures it out, it's a tight window. If you have a fast player there and you click on and you go use your turbo boost to be able to get over there, that might be an option. But if you wanted to be a little bit safer with it, then what I would tell you, just my piece of advice, would, and most people don't run that. Most people will not send square vertical. Most people just won't even mess with that. If they are messing with that, then what you can simply do is you have a couple of options. You can just run man coverage on the left side if you wanted to. Um, another thing that you can do is you can take this guy right here and man him up on the running back. Um, and then you could maybe play like some cover two. So if you did something like that, then you're going to notice here that the soft squat, you know, is not going to, he's not going to bail, but now you see the deep path and due to the deep path, they're not going to be able to hit that. So the real trick of the trade is to deep path the short side if you want to. Um, again, it, could it cause you some other issues? I don't really think so. I don't really think it's going to cause you any issues. It's just an additional adjustment that you might not want to have to do, which I completely understand that. Um, but what you really want to capitalize on with this with this defense is you want to capitalize on the fact that you have a quarters style of coverage. And as you can see, the quarters coverage just does some, some wonders. Obviously right there, a little bit of a crazy catch. But then you see that the defense is in a very good position to take away a lot of the things that people like to do. Um, one last play that I want to go over before we let you guys go is the post route to the to the square receiver. And this is why I don't particularly like to have a deep half on that side of the field. If I can help it, most people won't send him vertical. And if they do, then I would just tell you, you know, honestly, I would almost be willing to live with it 
because it's just very rare that people are going to send him up the field. It's mostly going to be on a post route um, or something like that unless they can kind of figure out what you're doing, which it's very likely that most people have never seen a defense like this. But if they, you know, again, if they do, then that's where you can say, okay, if they, if you start to notice that, then just man him up, just man up the square receiver. Um, and then you can live with, you know, you can live with that or, you know, deep half, whatever. But anyways, I just want to show you this uh, post route right here. So this post route is very popular. I just want you to watch this. This match coverage is going to do a really good job. You see that he's going to basically bail into the middle of the field and take that away for us very nicely, just like so, and we're able to get the interception. So this defense is really, really, really good against Gun Bunch. Uh, I, I have a suspicion that it's going to be good against a lot of things, but I would tell you right now, if you have not tried this out against Gun Bunch, you need to do that. If you're playing somebody that runs Gun Bunch, try this defense out. And if you want to learn my entire defensive guide step by step the defense that i use to win money games and to win when games are on the line i would tell you to get the defensive guide it is an amazing defense and it's actually got a great price attached to it it's just 15 dollars for just 15 dollars i believe i will get you the best defense in the entire game and so if you have not already gotten the defensive guide i'm going to leave a link to that down in the description you can get that today you could pick it up today and be dominating tonight thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to get the defensive guide it is in the description